So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II and also duplicates. This is the topic of discussion today and has things changed from Advanced Warfare where it was first introduced to the same company that brought us Call of Duty World War II. Drop a like on this video if you go on to learn anything and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new and if anything here sparks an idea, anything at all, hit me up over on Twitter at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. But we're going to see if things got better. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It just looks a lot better, but it's not, okay? It's not better. So the first thing you got to know about duplicates is that the benefits of it right now in Call of Duty World War II is armory credits. You get this sort of currency that's a shared currency between multiplayer and zombies. There's no such thing as keys. That was in Infinite Warfare Zombies. And I believe they had that system right. However, we're dealing with the shared currency of armory credits, right? And this is like our salvage. The flaw of this though is that there's no inventory progression when you get duplicates. And this has been put at the forefront of all supply drops. Duplicates is a big part of it. Now I pick up Infinite Warfare's keys as a crutch to onto the topic of Winter Siege. This is the new winter event that we were introduced to in Call of Duty World War II, where collections is a way of getting weapons and uniforms for our character. And you can collect these through winter supply drops, winter bribes. But these are all things that are included in expensive COD point bundles too. Those are used to incentivize you in order to buy more. But you're actually paying the same price. It just looks like you're getting more. And the duplicate factor within all of these supply drops is what makes this thing basically a complete ripoff. Now it's easy enough to just say that. But let's look at the hard facts so that way you know I'm not just talking out of my ass. So for $20, you get 2,400 COD points. We know this, but if you equivalate that to how much it costs for a winter supply drop, it's 200 COD points. That means you get 12 winter supply drops. Now tell me, tell me out of 12 winter supply drops that you have that you're not going to get some duplicates. My question to you is this, should these drops be an exception? If the option of using the inventory of keys, which was a secondary currency in Infinite Warfare, that's been taken away. So all you can do is armory credits, which isn't a current means of obtaining supply drops. You can't purchase them separately. You have to use COD points. But the season pass is usually $40, which originally unlocked and broke down the paywall content. We do not see this nowadays. This is totally changed where it's kind of against the customer. It's not for the customer. If it was for the customer, we would be getting all of the DLC included in the season pass. Everything that we can't get that's locked behind a paywall. But instead, what is incentivized is the map DLC that you get. So you get multiplayer maps, and then you get a zombies map. On occasion, you'll get a multiple zombies maps, so you'll get more than one. But that's not incentivizing actual supply drops like weapons and things in your inventory that people are trying to collect. Loot that you gotta grind. There's nothing that's given. You're not given quests to actually earn these. These are all just simply locked behind a paywall and duplicates is holding you back even further. Trust me, it really is because it's not organized or designed in the correct fashion. A trend that I'm already seeing that I don't want to continue is the bundles that you can buy by COD points. And I think this can be improved as well. There's just not an option for you to actually purchase these bundles with armory credits. I think that's wrong because we've already seen the failure of that in Infinite Warfare Zombies and they also and changed it so it was succeeding in Infinite Warfare Zombies where you could buy them with keys. To, for us to go backwards in Call of Duty World War II, it's like, what are we doing here? Why are we not learning from the past? Why are these companies not talking to each other on things that were successful and things that were failures? I get that there's competition, but the fact that we're a community moving from game to game, they should take care of that. I do think that the lack of communication isn't in fact on the developers or the studio heads at the company. It's the lack of communication between Activision amongst all of the companies that's umbrellaed underneath it. If they were to have some sort of standard protocol for how we move forward on things that were successful and things that were failures, a little booklet given and updated to each company every single year, then we wouldn't have these same problems going over and over again where we have discrepancies between the developers and ourselves. This in fact is a problem on the publisher's end because they're not doing anything to correct it. That's how I personally feel about this. One thing I will give Sledgehammer a little bit of props for is the ways we can earn armory credits to purchase things that are in our collections. 
and that is through quartermaster contracts but it does cost us armory credits to get supply drops and there we can get duplicates as well so it's another option in order to get supply drops in a way that you can get more armory credits but it does cost you armory credits so it is sort of a lose-lose doing contracts because you work against yourself by paying armory credits to get these in fact I think you're losing more so by doing contracts unless you're getting a winner bribe which guarantees duplicate protected items and that's what you need in contracts is duplicate protected items for it to be worth it now orders is a different story orders is something where you can earn armory credits and this is what I'm giving sledgehammer props for this is what it is it's earning the armory credits we have to be able to earn these or at least get them for free like we see in the mail where there's a payroll or a daily login bonus where you get free armory credits because these are things that we can use in order to unlock things in the game that's what's benefiting the player at least there's a few options in here that sledgehammer provided but yes there is a thorn connected to this and that thorn is very deep and dug into the side of every zombies player because in more than one interview and pieces of articles that are out there it did state that we we're gonna get zombie supply drops in these orders we we're gonna be able to earn them daily and weekly and that still hasn't been introduced yet at least in the Call of Duty World War 2 for the zombies portion so even to this day all the zombies players are still subject to earning zombie supply drops based on the rank that they're currently at so if they're not leveling up gaining rank after rank say they don't even want a prestige they want to stay at the same prestige you're not gonna earn zombie supply drops anymore and there should be another option for that and the fact that we just got survival mode still and that's it no pvp mode advancement at all it's boring now activision has stated in the quarter one financial report that happened this year in 2017 that they are changing up the structure in which they develop games we know that there's a three-year cycle however dlc 5 did change the game and we all know this it did change the game on how dlc is going to work in the future so i think in the future everything will become digital at some point so with launch maps and easter eggs shouldn't be ruined like they were this year with world war ii and uh i think in the future what we're going to see is more of a digital aspect where people can't get early copies because discs are going to go away the fact that people got blu-rays aren't going to be important anymore and you're not going to be fancy just because you got a blu-ray player that's not going to become true in the upcoming future everything's going to become digital and as long as it's in hd that's all it's going to matter i guess the dlc season is already digital so i'm mostly talking about the launch of every game and how that can, the easter eggs can be ruined on that forefront that will be changed in the upcoming future now before i show you the new afk glitch in headquarters i want to tell you the missing gap that's currently happening with the supply drops and why duplicates make it even worse so the collections themselves it doesn't include heroics nor does the season pass so just because you own the season pass doesn't mean you're going to get more heroics it's not a factor and it's not included in the collections it's just epics in the other gray area of the missing gap is that armory credits don't buy supply drops and any supply drops at that in the current state of the game so with the collections not including heroics it shows that there is something locked behind a paywall and that is the most epic version of the weapons and gear that you can get you just can't obtain simply by unlocking them through armory credits I definitely want this to change but if I can't make it change I just want all of you guys to be aware even your pre-order cod points of 1100 if you were to spend those my question to you is still should these drops be an exception to where you are guaranteed items that you're paying for because the season pass used to include everything behind the paywall and now it doesn't I think a quick fix and an alternative is for everyone who owns the season pass give them exclusive quests to earn these heroic weapons that aren't included in the collections plain and simple that's the solution but let's talk about this afk glitch we're going to be in headquarters is where we're going to be and over in the staging area there's this pillar you can jump on where you'll be able to collect one of the snow globes or the rugby balls for gridiron so when you go up there you're going to stay on this pillar all right this pillar is going to block players from getting up here and collecting that ball it's incentive for them to come to you and that means they're going to look at you and be like why are you blocking this nine times out of ten you're going to get commends for doing this however if you do go to your emblems and in your emblem editor and you stay there at this very menu where you're toggling looking for your emblem that is where you cannot be kicked so this is the new afk glitch in headquarters i just wanted to bring it to you guys you cannot be kicked and I only gained a little bit of XP overnight, but it works. 
And if you guys want to get your hands on this right now, that's the best way to do it. And I just wanted to introduce this. I didn't think it warranted an entire video. However, talking about these duplicates and getting this off my chest was something I wanted to inform all of you guys on that are part of my audience. And I hope you can take something away from this. And drop a like on this video if you did. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. But I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out for now. Violent out.